Hi, this is Wes Fryer, and I'd like to share a quick screencast about some of the basic drawing tools that are in Scratch. When you click on the new sprite button here in Scratch, you have lots of options for different things that you can draw, and I'm just going to go over these tools really quickly so that you can understand what they do. Um, the first one is the paintbrush, and in addition to being able to choose a color that you'd like for your paintbrush, you can also choose your brush size, and so you can do that so that um, you're not having to make really, really thin lines if what you're wanting to do is to make thicker lines. So change your brush color. Um, and then also recognize that you're not limited to just those colors that show up. You can go here to this color palette and you can change any, or you can choose, you know, any, any variations that you have there. And that toggles back and forth between uh, modes so that you can either be, you know, clicking on the individual palette or you can basically kind of get the rainbow. And then you can make your, your selections when you're going to be drawing like that. Um, something else that I've noticed that not everybody in our Scratch Club this week uh, seems to know is that um, you've got the option here to do the paint bucket which is called the fill tool. Now the fill tool is a paint bucket and it has uh, a little spot where the paint is pouring out and if you click here to zoom in on your painting um, I guess your paint bucket still say, stays the same size, but you can be really precise and you can see these individual boxes are, are the pixels that you're going to be filling. And so what you want to do when you use the paint bucket is you want that black paint that's pouring out of the bucket to be right on a pixel that you want to fill. And so if I make a mistake like this and I click, I'm going to accidentally you know, turn my tree green. So I can click the undo button and bring that back and then I can click out here in the space to the side and then it's going to fill in all of that area that's around. So that's important to know about the paint bucket. Something else to know about the paint bucket is you can fill with gradients. If you see down here below where the tools are, if I click here, it's going to fill with a gradient and that's going to look different than just filling it all with a solid color. And so there are several different gradient options that you have um, to be able to fill in um, that are going to give you different effects when you fill. Um, notice that you've got an eraser and you also can change the eraser size just like you can with the paintbrush. So when you're going to erase, if you, if you need to erase something, um, again, make sure you've got the right size so that you're not erasing more than you need to and that's really uh, an important thing. When you click down here on the square you also have choices um, not only to change the color of the square that you want to do but you don't have to do solid squares like that you can choose below it to do squares that have a border and so um, that's that's important to to realize that you can do and um, then you can you know build build something that's going to um, be able to be filled so you could you could create that um, and then you could fill that um, with um, a gradient same thing with the circle tool you've got the choice of uh, creating a solid one or you can create one that you can fill and I kind of think that the brush size that you choose let me see if this is going to work is going to affect, yeah, see how that changes? When I choose a smaller brush size, that actually chooses how thick my outside layer or my outside, um, my outside border of, of my shape is. So keep that in mind and remember that uh, you, know, you can do gradient fills as well. Um, so that's pretty much all the tools that are on the top of the bar. On the bottom here, you've got a line tool. And again, you can choose how thick you want this line to be. Um, when you're going to be drawing lines and make sure that you um, you know are appropriate for the, the the size of line that you're going to be doing also realize you can hold your shift key down notice how my line isn't straight here and if I want to make a straight line what I'm doing is holding down my shift key and that is going to constrain my line to make sure that it's straight okay I've got a text tool and I can choose uh, different text sizes and I can click in here and um, click to be typing something and uh, then it's going to be pasted right on that spot so make sure that you've got it right where you want it um, otherwise you're gonna you're not gonna be happy with it and it's it's you're gonna have to erase it to remove it this is where you're gonna click to make a selection oops and then you're going to be able to delete that. I'm jumping all over the place now, and I'm almost out of time. Um, so you can delete things there, and I'm, I'm about out of time. So you've also got a stamp and an eyedropper to pick up some paint. That's it.